shit, I don't know. We just do what we do, you know. I know we put on a hell of a fucking live show. And uh, we got the best fans in the world. How's everybody doing today? So here I am today in Arlington, Texas at Moore Memorial Gardens and I'm here doing a video about Dimebag Daryl and Vinnie Paul from the band Pantera. So I did a video about the location in Ohio where Dimebag Daryl was tragically murdered and ever since then I've gotten a lot of requests to come out here to Arlington to do a video about their graves because I do a lot of grave sites on my channel. And I'm in Texas, and this is something I did not want to miss. I was a Pantera fan in the 90s, and somewhat, and now I'm a huge fan. I've become, I download a lot of their albums. Far Beyond Driven has become my, one of my favorite albums. I Am Broken, I love that song. But what I did was I met up with a viewer who's a huge Pantera fan and lives in the area and grew up with their music and I'm going to introduce you to her right now. And she's a little camera shy, she says, but she knows a lot about Pantera. And <laughs> she's a little shorter than me. This is Jen. Hey guys. So you know a lot about Pantera, right, Jen? Yep. You do? Yep. You're a big fan. Get your pool. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you the graves right here, right now. This is uh, crazy to see in person. It's impressive and it's sad. Hey. Yeah, okay, so let's take a look right now. So there's a main headstone that says Abbott, that's her last name. And then on the right, right here, is Dimebag, who is the guitarist for the band. Oh my God, Vinny. Vinny, the drummer. Now, Dimebag was murdered in 2004, Vinny died in 2018. And I believe he died from heart disease? Yeah, it was a coronary. Coronary, yeah. And their mother is buried right beside them, Carolyn Abbott, and she died in 1999. And you see, it's not too long after Christmas. It's still decorated heavily for Christmas, especially the mother's grave. But, and there's lights around them and you see people come out here all the time. And this grave's uh, got plexiglass over it. Yeah, you know, that's the one thing that the fans were worried, well not worried, but we were happy about, but it was something that they wanted for dime. Um, not really sure why it never happened. Yeah. Uh, but we, there are ladies that come out here, fans, we, we clean it up, we take care of it. You know, cigarette buds, don't drop them here. It's just, you know, be respectful. 
uh, guitar picks, you know, if you got your, um, your whip it can, you can do that too. Um, just, uh, you know, these were good people, good brothers. They loved their city, they loved their fans, and none of them, neither of them should have died the way they did. And um, we're just proud as Arlington ends right. to um, represent them. And, and, and to have Scott here all the way from Canada, it, it means the world, it really does. Because these two, they just, we don't want them to ever be forgotten, we don't. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, so I, I did see the Whippet right here. Yeah. So these are originally for uh, making whipped cream, right? Right. Yeah. Um, well, back in the day, uh, it's not really something anyone should be proud of, but it's also a way to get high. Yeah. Um, you simply, I guess, I can't even remember how they did it. It was a can, you know, you inhale and it makes your brain kind of freak out. It gives you about a, a three second buzz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, back in the day, you know, they did crazy stuff. I mean, you know, Pantera themselves, they were wild. There's Dime Vision you can check out. There's, you could see how wild they got. And they just, there's there's so many memories of them. Just, um, they were good, 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 genuine people. They really were. Right. Uh, I keep saying that, but. Um, but they really were. Let's read what it says they here. They like to have fun. They like to have a good time. So Vinny's grave. Vinny was the older brother by two years. And Vinny's grave says, don't ever think it's not a good time. If you do think it's not a good time, a good time is a good time. A bad time is a bad time. And a wonderful time is irreplaceable. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And there's a razor blade underneath and a cigarette and guitar pick. Hell yeah was his band that he was in for 12 years after uh, Pantera and Damage Plan. Yeah, after Dying Pass. Yeah. He did for his own thing. So Dying Bags... This is a really impressive uh, headstone here, on grave marker. He came to rock and rock like no other with a heart twice the size of Texas. Our beloved brother, companion, mentor, idol, and friend. We love you, Dime, until we meet again. Nice. Yeah, it's all got the Christmas stuff all in the lights. before Christmas and they were so lit up um, especially around the holidays you're gonna see fans coming out here every single day um, yeah you're gonna meet awesome people out here at one point yeah so <laughs> so you actually had some run-ins with them you said back in the yeah. day yeah um, if you lived around the Arlington kind of like a uh, Pantigo uh, the Arlington Gardens area um, there's times you could go to the grocery store gas station restaurant bar I mean you literally could run into them anytime any day yeah. Um, they were always willing to sign autographs, take pictures. They were always genuine, humble, uh, never acted like they were better than anybody else. And I think that's why they had so many fans, these brothers in particular. Um, they just, yeah, they, they loved everybody. Um, Do you remember when you heard the news about he was murdered? <sighs> yeah. So I can't remember how old I was. I was in a alternative school at the time. And across the street, there was a car garage or car wash. And this is where all the kids, all the bad kids, you know, would have a cigarette in the morning, whatever. And one of the, the guys, um, one of our friends, whatever, came out and he said, did you hear what happened? And, and obviously we're like, what happened? And um, at the time, we didn't actually know that Dime was dead. All we knew is that he got shot in Ohio on stage. Um, and then throughout the day is when we actually found out and that's where you know a lot of us it was a really dark day it was listening to Pantera and it was it was hard and I think what was also hard is after losing Vinny we kind of knew that it was a heartbreak it wasn't I mean sure he probably had a real issue with his heart but we know that when he saw his brother get killed on stage it was a it was part of him died that day yeah. and um, it's just it's hard to uh, it, it's really really sad to think about yeah, of it, it's hard um, yeah. yeah especially I mean and their mother thank goodness she didn't have to see, she didn't have to see that and you said she was a single mom essentially yeah um, their, their father was originally a country singer if I remember correctly musician um, I've never really listened or checked out his music or anything, but from what I understand, uh, she basically raised the boys on her own. Um, 
I actually know the house that they lived in, uh, in Arlington. Um, you can find pictures online and everything, but uh, she took care of them. She supported their music dreams. Uh, she was a good person. I never got to meet her, but uh, I know from, you know, what everyone says, she was a really good mother and uh, she loved her boys a lot. Yeah. So I did, I usually bring rocks. If you've watched a lot of my grave videos, I, that's my uh, thing that I do for the people that I visit. But I thought what other people do would be to bring some guitar picks and leave them here for dime bag. I did not bring a drumstick uh, for Vinny, which guts me now that I didn't really think about that in time this morning. But that's for him and his brother. I'm gonna go a little closer and show you the how detailed these uh, uh, graves are. hard to read what it says here above it the drums right there if you're looking to find the graves when you come to the cemetery pretty much come in the front entrance Drive straight through, and then you're gonna see what I showed at the beginning, that gazebo in the middle. Look for that gazebo, and the brothers and their mother are right here. So that's Dimebag Daryl and Vinnie Paul and Carolyn Abbott's grave. Jen, thank you. Yeah, get your pool. Now, usually when I do my grave videos, I show the graves, but we're gonna go see something really cool that you're gonna show me because you are quite the expert. That's not my expert. I, I don't know. You seem to know. I'm a sword I'm... expert. <laughs> yeah, <you're not. laughs> see? But yeah, we're gonna go see somebody else. Show uh, some uh, something else to do with Pantera that a lot of you Pantera fans are gonna really, really like. I think, and I'm really hyped to go see it. Okay, so come along. I'm gonna give you one last look final resting places of the brothers and the mother. Peace to Dimebag Daryl, Vinny Paul, and Carolyn Abbott. I'm a new convert. I love these guys now. Amazing. And it's sad. It's heartbreaking. But at least the family's here together. That's somewhat comforting, right? That they're here together. Yeah, they're, they're home. I, I, they're home. They're home. And they're laid next to each other. And um, you know, it's unfortunate that Vinny passed away, um, but ultimately it's kind of like a, a relief. I know that's kind of wrong to say, but the fact that he's finally with his brother and his mother again, it it, it brings comfort. Yeah, and it does I get hands, it. Yeah. Okay, Jen, so mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about where we are. We are in Arlington still. We're still in Arlington. We are right off of Arkansas onto Monterey Street. This home is where, I believe when they were teenagers, they lived with their mother, Carolyn. Um, this is basically kind of where they were when they got you know, up and 
and before the they each business. got their own homes type of thing yeah before they they got bigger in pantera and everything like that um this is where they stayed with their mom um i don't know a lot about the property um i do have a picture that i will give to him that he can insert so we can kind of see but it, it's an older picture it's with his um, yeah. longtime girlfriend rita um I, I can't say the year but um yeah. Looks it looks prof roughly around eighty six, eighty seven. I'd say. Yeah. Look, look that sounds about right. What I can tell. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's let this car, car pass. <laughs> Wants to get by. But yeah, I, I've seen the picture, and that's the kind of thing that when I do stuff like that, especially because I music is my life and music history. This is this type of location I love coming to, mm -hmm. because these, I've matched it up. We matched it up with the picture. And to know that Dimebag was standing right here in that picture, and this was their house. This is it's, where they were. This is where the magic began, right here. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show that picture and show you how we know that this is where it was. Well, we know because of the address checks, <laughs> but also because of the picture. Let's show. So right here. Is Dimebag's and Vinny's childhood home, right here. And this, mailbox is in the photo that I'm going to insert right now. The picture of Dimebag and Rita taken right here. And in that photo, you can see this house in the background. Still looks the exact same. The lights in the middle, the angles going down on the top of the, the roof of the garage. That fence has changed, but also you can see that window from that house, that fence has changed too, but you can see that window in the picture in the background. So somebody was taking it from the front of the house right there, mm -hmm. facing towards us. And Dimebag and Rita were standing right there in front of an old car. Maybe somebody could tell us what type of car that was, because I am not a car person. But yeah, this is their house. That they is crazy. Down those steps. Dimebag and Vinny's teenage home right here. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, dude, oh, dude, I'm gonna be buying my whole new car tomorrow. Fuck it, wait. Get a good shot, Wiggins. Whoa! Whoa! So the owner just came out and was talking to us, and he was awesome. Really nice guy. We didn't ask him. I didn't ask him to be on camera. That's okay. He told us that actually the family owned this up until uh, just right after Vinny's death in 2018, right? Yep, and, and he's still receiving mail for Vinny. Still getting mail here for Vinny Paul. Isn't that crazy? What about that? Yeah, so the family still owned it. Now that's, I guess they just wanted a piece of their childhood still, yeah. even though they moved into other houses. They didn't want to let go. Yeah, right there. Mama's house. Mama's house. Now, speaking of other houses, let's go right now to another house, having to do with Pantera, right now. All right, so here we are. Where are we? We're technically Dal Worthington Gardens. Dal Worthington Gardens. And now we're outside of Dimebag Daryl's house. And what's really cool, this is the back of the house we're gonna show you first is there's a tour van still here. Now we believe this is from the band Hell Yeah, Vinny's band, because Vinny would come out here, right? It's still owned by Rita? Yeah, it's owned by Rita Haney. Um, I know that they have a couple friends that, that hang around, yeah, that sort of thing. So it's still owned by people, members of a like, members of a circle still hang out here. But the van, I mean, sorry, the tour bus, is still here, but it's it's gotta be from Hell Yeah. I, can't, I don't think damage plan. Because it's got the Monster Energy like sponsor on it. So I don't think Monster Energy drinks were around that long ago. I don't know when. I don't know the history of Monster Energy. Energy, But uh, here, I'll see what I can show you from here. Kind of hard. To, oh, no. There you go. There you go. Right there. Okay, we're going to walk up a little bit. But there's the van. I mean, the tour bus. I keep saying van. And the Jeep back there. I'm going to show you the side of the house right now. So yeah, the house, there's one little house here and then the next house over would be Dime by Daryl's. And this back house was a recording studio. I'm gonna get a good view of it right now. Up a little bit. But there's this little end 
right here. Wow, there's a swimming pool obviously right there that you said. Yeah. So I wonder whose property this is. This is, a, this is vacant land right here. That's his home studio right there. So there's another shot of the tour bus and there's Dimebag on the side of the bus. So maybe, what, I mean, maybe it was damage plans. Well, to be honest, um, a lot of uh, fans and, and family members, they um, have a lot of his pictures. A lot of, they put it on top of their hoods. Um, also, maybe it's like a tribute to him. Yeah, it's a tribute. So it easily could be, um, hell yeah. Okay. I'm sure somebody might see this and please leave in the comments and, you know, because we don't know yeah. everything, obviously. Yeah, leave it in the comments if you know any of the history of this tour bus because uh, we're not too sure, but we know that that's Dimebag's property. Now we're going to show you something really awesome right around the corner. But there's Dimebag right there on the side of the uh, tour bus. Wow. So here we are at the front of Dimebag's house. And I'm going to show you what I can show you from here. The tour bus is right down there on the right. But straight through there is something really There's cool. Dying bag right there. Actually, right there. Boom. Looks like a cast iron statue of him right there. And there's lots of videos from inside the house online. This was his house. And Rita still owns it. And like I said, friends and family still hang out. And look what's beside it cool old truck. Some sort of ATV. Really interesting. So there's a lot of video of uh, die bag on the front of the house. <laughs> Hey man, that's your uh, that's your driveway, man. Hey, listen, man. Look, dude, the way you cut that thing was so fucking it's perfect, dude. You held it, you drunk bastard. <laughs> it's a goddamn good thing they're in the parking lot. There they go. God damn! <laughs> Like that right there and doing donuts and you can see there's a gate now but this the house beside it would have been in the background but right around here doing those donuts in his truck and on the front porch right there wow wild as they come. and that was from 2003 really cool Windows are still the same, with the circles like the at the top. Awesome. So, just when we think we're done, you're gonna show me one more place. One more place. That's cool to do with Penta. This is awesome. This is more than I thought. And I, I love stuff like this. Music history like this just blows me away. Yeah. And standing in Dimebag Daryl's driveway is awesome. Yeah. Let's just not get hit by a mail truck. Yeah, somebody's getting mail. You don't want to be in the way. <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> All right, continuing the Pantera locations, here we are outside of Vinnie Paul's house. This is really cool. And it's pouring rain right now. So. Hey guys. What happened here at this house? So this is Vinny's house. Uh, this is where he threw many, many parties. Lots of breasts, lots of drink, lots of everything. <laughs> um, it is a private property. But still owned by? It's owned by Rita Haney. Yeah. Um, for the love of God, if you want to take a picture, take a picture. Do not drive up the driveway yeah. and enter and go in near the home. Just yeah. don't people do People do that sometimes, or people have done that. It's Respect weird. Respect them. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm going to flip it around. It's pouring rain. We're going to show you the driveway and parts of the house. And I'll show you the aerial view on Google Maps of what it looks like. And the guy at this house apparently did not like the way they partied <laughs> all the time here. But the family and friends still come here and hang out. Here, I'll take, uh, take a look. There's a long drive. It goes all the way around. But you can only see a little bit of the house, but there it is there. The pool would be right there behind. So behind this house is where the pool is. But yeah, it's a really modern looking house. Very cool. Sorry, I can't show you more, but we cannot go up anymore. Respect the property. There's Vinnie Paul's house. It's pouring. Yeah. All right, so here we are. And where are we exactly? We're not too far from Dimebag's house. We're well, really close. We are actually at Campo Verde. Um, this is their favorite um, restaurant. Uh, lots of good food, a lot of Tex-Mex. Uh, Dimebag's favorite from here, I think it was rattlesnake tacos. And you can get rattlesnake. I think you can even get alligator or something like that. But, wow. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different things here. And is this where he would have his favorite drink called? Um, It's called a black tooth grin. Um, Seagram's? Seagram's. Crown oil. A drop of Coke. A drop of Coke. Just a drop. Um, I'm not actually sure if they, I think they served it. If you come with different bartenders, I think they can make it for you here. But it's, it's, uh, it's a strong drink. So, you know, drink at your own pace kind of thing. So, <laughs> or at your own risk. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's show this building and we're going to go inside. That is a funky looking place. So you want me to, I've never seen the inside. You want me to be shocked when I, or you want to see my reaction when I walk in. Cause I don't know what I'm looking at when I'm getting in here. Hmm. This is really- It's a very, very fun place. Let's just say there's lots of light, light, lots, lots of color. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> what? what is this? This is year round? For the most part, most of it, not all of it. The lights are there. Wow. There's a glass thing in it, but I don't think it's a picture. Yeah, it's a dime by deal right there. You got the Beatles in the back too, got all this. Cool. Look at all this stuff here. Presented to their restaurant for to commemorate gold sales of more than 500,000 copies of Reinventing the Steel. Really cool, this place. Mm -hmm. And this is where they like to eat, huh? Yep, this is where they would come and get some grub. They're literally right down the street from here. Uh, you know, just eat, drink, be merry. And now we're going to have something to eat before yeah. we go to our last location. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, Jen. So here we are. We're in a little area called Pantigo in Texas. And this is not too far from Dimebag's house. This is like a two minute drive. Yep. This is not far at all. And this is where they recorded their first two Pantera albums. Uh, Cowboys from Hell and mm -hmm. Vulgar Display of Power. Yep. In this little nondescript building. In this very, very small building. Um, this is basically kind of where they started recording. It's where they got their stuff going. Um, it was called at the time Pantigo Sound Studio. I do know that um, they did eventually shut it down, but this was in 96. So I think they recorded the first two albums, and then after that is when they. Um, they built uh, the studio at Dimes Place. So he does have a studio uh, recording place in the back of his house. And that's where they kind of, you know, did the rest of it. So this this is kind of like a starting starting point for them. Yeah, um, right here. It's very small. There's really nothing amazing about the area. But when you know the history, it's it's definitely something cool. It's to right see. at the end of a dead end street. It's right at the end. Like, I mean, if they want a privacy, if they want to party out here loud, they could do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's show. Let's just let's, let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. So this is it. This is Pantigo Sound. 
As you can see, it's all locked up. Nothing going on here on this property now. But yeah, music history created inside this building. Some graffiti here. Take you all the way around and show you. If you're a Pantera fan. Oh, I don't know what this is. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Just kind of picture the guys hanging out here. Pantego Sound. Yeah, I wonder what's left inside there or what's going on. But it doesn't look like it's been used for a long time. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking here. It looks like some people have tried to go inside. Mm -hmm. But from rummaging a little bit through the trash, <laughs> through the trash <laughs> it looks like it was used possibly as a salon afterwards that's uh that big black book there had a lot of uh had the name of a salon with uh invoices yeah i don't and know it's an old place so yeah all right jen thank you so much for showing me around this yeah. area of texas you know it and, and helping me out with pantera you are a pantera expert i yeah, say you get are get your pool <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much everybody hope you enjoyed this video Pantera, forever, and peace. Deuces.